just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyree. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday. It's the weekend. I'm so excited. Today is the first Friday well, weekend um, in maybe like mm, six weeks or a month, a month to six weeks, that I didn't have to go to a church birthday party, run errands, have an appointment, just have something to do. I get to come home, do nothing. I get to sleep in tomorrow. I'm so excited. And I'm just making my coffee. Um, in my Tinkerbell Mornings Art Magical mug. I'm just excited. I cannot wait to get off work today to come home. Let's get going because I do have to go to the gas station. It is cold, y'all. It is cold out here. Um, and just when I think winter is finally coming or we're going to get a fall, yesterday it was hot again. Weird, weird weather. Look where we are. It's just me and Savannah. She has on her high school musical jersey. How you liking it? It's the best part. Y'all, don't be surprised. You already know where we are. Go ahead, sit down. Yeah, you do. If I wouldn't have pulled out the camera, she would have sat down there. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday. It's 9.30. This is actually early for me, but I'm up. I'm about to make some breakfast, probably some French toast. And then I don't have anything to do today. I'm so excited. I am just going to lay on the couch, my spot right there. And I'm going to be Netflixing it all day. Yes, that's the word, Netflixing it. So let me make my breakfast and coffee and... Relax. I have you guys in a spot that I've never had you guys before, but I just wanted to talk to you guys while I was cooking and ignore this, y'all. Y'all just know. Anyway, I am making my French toast. And I have the fan on in case it gets smoky. That's what you, if you're hearing that. Anyway, so normally Boston sleeps in Savannah's room, but there's sometimes that she just doesn't want him in there if she's cleaning her room or she's busy doing something or she washed her sheets and her sheets are white so um, he has to take a bath today so she didn't want him on her bed at all so she put him in the crate and I told her I said you could put the crate in your room that way he could be in there with you because Boston chooses her as his person main person to go to but she doesn't want to because she says her room is too small so he slept in the crate last night and he woke up maybe like, I don't know, maybe five this morning or six. Pretty early for a Saturday for someone who sleeps in and who's not a morning person. So when he wants to go out, when he's in his crate, he'll start whining and he'll start hitting on the door and you'll hear the latch like clicking. And he did that for so long and I did not want to get up and I'm thinking I'm like well maybe someone else will get up and take him no no one did so I had to get him get up <laughs> and I turned the alarm off and he darted outside so quick normally in the mornings if he's not ready to get out when you open up his crate he'll just lay there and like nope I'm not gonna do it I think I showed you guys but then if you hear something rattling like a food bag or something like that he'll hurry up and hop up but this morning no that dude bolted out of the crate glad I got up when I did because I do not I do not want to have to clean up any kind of mess but then 
I told him, I said, all right, you're gonna have to stay out there until I wake up. So I put him outside and laid back down, turned the alarm on. Yeah, he's back inside now, he's in Savannah's room. So it's much, much later. I'm sorry, I'm watching Today with Trade, their anniversary um, vlog. Anyway, um, I'm doing exactly what I said I was going to do. Absolutely nothing. I fell asleep right here for a long time. I did catch up on all of the YouTube videos I wanted to. Almost. That's what I'm still watching now. Um, I do need to get up because my alarm on my phone went off. I need to water my plants. So, actually, I need to get up and check on those and water it. Because if I start doing other things, I'm going to forget. And then what's the point in setting an alarm if I don't water it? So, yeah. So I just watered them and that one down there, that one's doing wonderful, even though it doesn't get light at all. And they told me these don't need light. This one, I don't know if I was supposed to cut the dead ends or whatever, but I did prune it. It doesn't look as full and as vibrant as it did when I got it. Um, they said this doesn't need to be by light. So... I don't know you guys um, I don't know if I was supposed to tip, cut the dead edges off but that's what I did some of the tips right here were well, where the plants look like it was dying I cut that off but I did water it and I don't know um, it just doesn't look as pretty as it did when I got it but we'll see you guys y'all know how I am so I'm learning and yeah but that one right there is thriving ignore the hair I just don't feel like doing anything with it right now so I just put it in two ponytails anyway um it got a little warm it was freezing this morning and I was laying here bundled up with my blanket and now it's hot I'm about to take this off and I brought out my wind tunnel fan so I'm just continuing part two or three whatever you want to call it of sitting here doing absolutely nothing because my house is clean see there's no dishes i mean there's a few dishes in the sink but those will get done later the house is clean i'm tired this is my weekend to rest i didn't have no obligations so i am taking advantage of this yes don't judge me are you ready to go out somebody must be ready he's standing up let's see if we turn the alarm off if he'll go let's see Are you going to come out? Are you going to come out? Uncle Potty? Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to trick him again. Uh, sometimes this works. Come on. Come get some. Come on. Come on. Okay, that's not going to work. Y'all, this dog have to get something that he really thinks he's about to eat. Let's see. And here he comes. <laughs> sad, sad, sad. You fall for it every time. Now, go potty. Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday, so it's technically only 8 o'clock. Usually I get up around 9 o'clock for church. Why do they say technically? It is 8 o'clock, but because we changed the time, I woke up at my normal time and I'm awake. So I'm just gonna start getting ready for church now. And yeah, I've already picked my clothes out and I just need to jump in the shower and get myself all presentable. So I'm gonna do that. And then the kids are still asleep. So I'll just wake them up at the normal time that I normally wake them up at. <laughs> so yeah, let's get ready for church. Listen up everyone. It says, I see the hands that hold God's word. Okay, so I literally just walked in the door from church 
and haven't even changed yet. I am about to get comfortable. Tariq is at work, Cheyenne is at a friend's house, and Savannah is actually doing homework. So it's just going to be me in Boston. Speaking of Boston, he is outside and to let him in. So yeah, home from work. And what you guys seen earlier at church, today was pastor's appreciation. Um, and so we usually bring them up there. We give them gifts, cards, whatever. And each family will go up and say something you know, about the pastor and the pastor's wife. So that's what that little clip was about. And yeah, so now I'm going to relax. Editing a video. Um, I debated how much of this video I was going to put up because I was really in my feelings and I was thinking about Thanksgiving and missing my grandmother. So I went through this whole spiel with you guys and the majority of the video is, by the time you guys see this, you guys will have already seen the video about me and my grandmother and visiting her grave and the whole thing like that. So I'm uploading it now and I'm still debating whether I should have it go live or just hang on to it. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm just here relaxing and I'm hanging out in my bed. I'll probably fall asleep. It's early, you guys. It's 437. I'm home from church. I've done everything I need to do for tomorrow, almost. I'm still washing clothes and I'm just gonna relax and I'm eating seaweed. Do you guys eat seaweed? Just plain seaweed? I think this kind is teriyaki. Yeah, I used to only eat seaweed when it was wrapped around sushi. It took me a long time to even actually like sushi. I like California roll, but to actually eat raw fish, it took me a long time to do it. So I gradually started doing it and now I do it occasionally. But then Savannah really, really loves seaweed and she would bring packs of seaweed home from school that her friends bought her and she would buy it at Dunco. And I'm like, that's just disgusting. She's like, mom, you eat it in soup or you eat it wrapped around sushi. And I'm like, I know, but just the actual taste of seaweed, I couldn't get with. So every time she bought one, I would try to try it. Be like, okay, well maybe this flavor. Teriyaki um, that Winco has, and I think sea salt, and then there's just different kinds or whatever. And I never liked it, probably because of the texture, I don't know. But then, I don't know, something happened that I just started liking it. And it's not that I forced myself to like it. I don't know, I just started liking it. So yeah, I will buy it now and eat it, and I love it. Do you guys like seaweed? Just eating seaweed plain like this? It's so good. I am finally getting around to editing the Clean of Me video that I told you guys I would make a while back. <laughs> and now as I'm watching it, I'm really debating whether I should show this or not. I'm telling you guys, my room was a hot mess. It no longer looks like this, the video that you guys will eventually see. I just cannot believe I let my room get this way not nasty or anything like that just cluttered and full of so much stuff oh my goodness yeah the video is only about 10 minutes but it took me maybe three hours to clean i don't know when i'm going to upload this you guys because it's really it's embarrassing i can't believe that i let my room get this way number one number two i can't believe i'm about to let you guys see this yeah so just doing that savannah is still doing her homework so it's just me and I'm bored. I'm really bored. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday. I'm back at work. Gonna go clock in in about 10 minutes. Y'all, those two days go by so fast. My battery's flashing, oh no. Anyway, the two days go by so fast. I enjoyed my weekend of doing nothing leisurely weekend. Now it's back to the grind. When I get home today, I'll probably uh, clean my room. It's not as messy as it was before. I just did not want to spend anytime cleaning or do anything like that this weekend because I wanted to relax so yeah you guys every time my battery flash in I feel like I have to hurry up and talk it still has a while before it cuts off but I feel like I'm rushed anyway let me try not to do that so I decided that I'm going to wait until my dining room is completely done to give you guys the full reveal I know I've been showing you guys here and there of things that I purchased and things that I've made and stuff like that but I am going to wait until the final reveal yeah so there's only a few more things well other than the dining room table there's only a few more things that I really need to buy so I wrote a list and it's actually not as much as what I thought um, just a few things that I want to place on the table as decoration so yeah I'm gonna go in search of those this weekend 
And do you guys think it's weird that I'm decorating my dining room without a dining room table yet? The main thing in your dining room? I don't know. Oh, so the table that I wanted, <laughs> I should have never went on Z Gallery. If you guys know anything about Z Gallery, it's this really nice, really, really nice store, but it's very, very expensive. And no, I went on there scrolling and looking for, you know, dining room tables. And I found one that I fell in love with and I should have never did that because ever since then, nothing compares. Um, my mom always told me that I had expensive taste on, you know, a normal person's budget so what's the what's the saying um champagne taste on the beer budget yep that's me so the set that i want actually was on sale it was 2000 i think like 2500 actually I keep saying 2000 but i think it was 2 2500 and that was the sale price so it went back up to a little bit over 3000 and i'm like you know what i deleted the picture and everything because i just don't want to get stuck on that because I know me, I will do whatever I can to get this dining room table and I just cannot see paying now $3,000 for just a table and chairs. And if it came with a buffet table of, what do you call that, a china hutch or I don't know, just something extra like that, that would be different, but just for a table and six chairs. And actually this was a table four chairs and a, a bench because you guys know how I'm doing the whole farmhouse rustic theme so yeah you guys I have been trying to find something that's equivalent or that I like as much as the table I seen from Z gallery and I know you Edna you suggested like a nice white table and I have been looking at white tables or whatever but I don't know just nothing could compare to the Z gallery one and let me just go my battery's flashing I probably want to try to vlog throughout the day here at work so we'll see let me let me go mm -hmm. 